God damn, John. Huh. All Ooh, right. Chills, like literal chills coming from here. Yep. Hi, I'm Keon Ibanez. And I am John Dean. We are live from the Brojo. Here to you talk about a certain game. Uh, gamey game. A gamey game. That Not smells the... kind of gamey. Yeah, it's a little, maybe. Yeah. It's a cold-hearted game <laughs> with fire at the same time. It ain't none of your baseball, football, or hockey shit. No. No, we no, no, are no. talking about some Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah, yeah, we are. Good God. We were just watching the preview trailer. Yep, for season seven, which airs tonight. tonight. And so we are recording today. Uh, so we're, we're doing a little bit of a season six recap. And yep. then we're going to talk about but, some uh, of our predictions, predictions, expectations, a little yeah, bit of little hopes bit and of, dreams. A little bit that of hopes and dreams. Yeah. Probably going to die. I do ship to certain people. John thinks it's weird. Yeah. Yep, yep, but... I'm hoping for some Danny Yara action. <laughs> myself. Now, let, let's talk about what happened during that, that, that season six. Okay, yeah. Uh, season six, uh, the previous season that aired, it, it, it feels like it's been a really long time. Um, well, I mean, production was halted. Like, yeah. usually it, Game usually of Thrones comes out in April year. in May. But because they had to shoot a lot of winter scenes, because winter is it's here. here. Winter Not coming is here. anymore. Yeah. It is here, ladies and here gentlemen. Here it is. Uh, basically, season six led up to everyone fighting in Westeros. Yes. Uh, Danny is finally traveling across the Narrow Sea with the army of the Unsullied and Theon and Yara. And the and Tyrion and Varys and all and the of those Dothraki. guys. Yep, the Dothraki. She's got the Dothraki. She's... They've got everything. Yeah, and John is king in the north. With now. the wildlings. With the wildlings, yep. Uh, and the Stark houses. Yes, all banding together. And Cersei sits on the Iron Throne. After fucking up all of her enemies all of in the high one Sparrow, area. The Tyrells. The Tyrells aren't gone, though. We saw again at the end of season six. They are aligning with Danny. Yeah, well, questionably, because the... Uh, Dorn and the Tyrells, Tyrells are, are forming an alliance, alliance but which Varys, seems to be right. being led or arranged by Varys. So, so that gives the implication that they'll probably be joining with oh Danny. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That uh, I mean, season six just just all oh, the hype was real. Yeah, all and we we that finally season. found out that R and L does equal J. Yes. So yes, um, John, John is, is a Targaryen. Danny's cousin confirmed. Yes, confirmed. So, I mean, we should just get in the major battles that led to the that yeah. were leading to season. Oh season. yeah, Battle Reason of the Bastards seven. is yeah. by far one of the best, best parts best. of the entire series. And it, it leads up to what happens. You yep. know what I mean? Like but before that, Jon Snow, our beloved Jon Snow in season six, seven, five, was was killed and then later in cold blood yep. by the Night's Watch themselves. Yeah. And was... They cock tease you the first episode with Jon Snow's <laughs> but They do. They're like, we're going to resurrect him. Yeah, but then and they And then at the end of that episode, you episode just see Malisandre's saggy titties, and you're yeah. just like, oh, you sneaky devils, you. Yeah. You sneaky devils. It wasn't until episode two that they revived my boy Jon Snow. <laughs> yep. And Jon Snow is no longer... He knows something. I think Jon Snow finally knows something. Uh, <laughs> After this whole scenario of being killed, he's like... All right, listen. I don't want to fuck with you guys anymore. I hate the Night's Watch. You well, guys he, he, was, are he was he was killed by people that he was supposed to be able to trust. Right, and that's kind of why he was just like, right. I don't need to be here anymore. Right, Night's like, Watch is a till death thing, and he just died. Right, I mean, he got out of a technicality. That that's a pretty that's a pretty baller move. Like, it could that, count as a technicality. That's kind of like LeBron, if he saw like his contract with the Browns, he's like, well, if I lose this, this game, I guess I don't have to play with you guys anymore. <laughs> Pieces. But, like, no. And so, which leads to him uh, meeting up with Sansa, who had just recently ran away with Theon. Ran away from... The uh, Boltons. Boltons, yeah. That Ramsey Bolton. That that good husband of his. <laughs> Ramsey Bolton. Who is Bolton. now dead. Who is now dead. Eaten by dogs. Eaten by dogs. Which leads to their battle, the Battle of the Bastards. Yep. It was a insanely intense battle. Yeah, it's one of the better shot parts of, again, the whole series. They, uh, 
John goes into, like, originally John had this big plan to be like, well, we're outnumbered, so hopefully we can, like, just do, just, like, sneak attack them. All of a sudden, Rick and Snark yep. running, running out of that field, like, like, like he's Usain Bolt trying to get that, <laughs> trying to get that gold medal. Thwack! Arrow. Thwack! Arrow. Jon Snow ain't having that shit. Jon runs! He's like, I'm gonna kill you! And like, just when Jon's like, oh, fuck. The Knights of the Vale just come and just... Yeah. Right when they're to the point where they're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. Littlefinger comes back with the Vale. Like Wins he's like, the battle for him, basically. He's like, I got you, fam. For now. That Littlefinger. And, mm -hmm. and that's where I'm kind of looking forward to season seven is where's, what, what's, what's Littlefinger, Littlefinger gonna, gonna do? do? Right. Actually, the two most interesting characters for me are Littlefinger and Varys. Yeah, they seem like they're almost kind of the ones. They're the ones that, manipulating this whole all these yep, events cause because Varys is basically the only thing bringing people into Daenerys's army. Yeah, exactly. And, and Littlefinger has been plotting from behind the shadows since season one, with right. the death of Jon Arryn. Right, and if you look, then then let's go to our to our girl, Danny, because those are the two teams that I'm I'm rooting for. <laughs> is uh. Team Jon Snow, and then Team Daenerys Targaryen. If either of those two guys win this war, I'm, I'm fine with. So let's go to what Daenerys been doing. So, at the end of Season 5, she is flown away by Drogon to the Dothraki Sea, where at first she's, she finds out that she was supposed to go here all along after Khal Drogo died. Yep. And then she's like, no, I'm not having the, none of this. Kills all of the main calls. And then gets everyone to follow her. Yep. Yeah, and I'm like, she is another one of those. Like, her and Jon Snow are very mirror image to one another. Of, like, when they started out younger. Like, Daenerys obviously started out as a leader more than Jon Snow did. But their character arcs have progressed to, like, you can tell. You can tell, like, they're, they they are king material. Well, yeah, they've, they've both had... A very seriously different upbringing. I mean, right. the Targaryen kids were raised by someone who was wealthy, right. and this was and basically just looking for repayment. And Jon's been the bastard of the Lord of Winterfell his whole life. Like, I mean, Ed has always treated him like a son, but yeah. Catelyn just fucking hated him. Yeah. And so Jon's experience is more battle hardened than anything else right. at this point. Because right. he's been fi fighting the Wildlings and the White Walkers this right. entire time. And even the Night's Watch now. Yeah. So there, there is all of that going on. and Then Daenerys also gets a, uh, a quote-unquote alliance with... Well, she gets an alliance with the Greyjoys. Uh, Theon and Yara. Because they're... Which is not all of... Uh, the, the Iron Islands. It is a. It is the leading faction of the original kings. Yeah. The loyalists. Well, they're they're loyalists to Yara. Yes. Uh, because the way that the Iron Islands works is that uh, you take things with salt and iron, mm -hmm. and then that basically means you, if you want something, you fight for it and you take it. Mm -hmm. You don't buy it. You don't ask for it. You just you take grab it. it. And so that's kind of how their crown works as well, but some people think that Yara is better suited to lead than uh, Euron is. Euron is, and that Euron, he's, he's crazy, man. He killed Balon Greyjoy's Balon brother. Greyjoy. Yep. Yeah. Gah. Which leads to another weird alliance formed by Varys for Danny, the yeah. Tyrell and Dorne yeah. alliance. Yeah. Um, that was that was that was out of the park for me. I yeah, they were and, fight and again, role. we haven't seen if uh, that's a main because again, like you said, uh, Varys seems like one of those ones who's really working from the shadows, controlling right. the Game of Thrones. Right. It's question questionable yet to see if he's still actually loyal to Danny. Right. Or and not. what you what you notice though is like the reason why Jorn and Tyrells are are. Uh, Lying is because they have a common enemy in the Lannisters. Cersei Lannister. Cersei Lannister. Cersei Lannister killed Oberon. Well, Oberon, it, it, this is this one's a long time ago. Oberon was killed by the Mountain. Right. During the trial for combat, combat. for Tyrion. 
but re more recently, she has blown up the chapel and the sparrows. Killed everyone that was in her way, even her own son. Well, the last two surviving uh, child heirs of the Tyrell family, as well as their parents, are now dead. dead. Yes. And uh, the old lady is the... Uh, the Tyrell, grandmother the only uh, one is yeah. the only one that's left right so she she is out for blood she is like no fucks given mm -hmm. I want I want Cersei dead with that in mind Cersei is now controlling yeah she's West, sitting Westeros. on the iron throne Be Tommen sees the the chapel explode thinks that everyone is in it he jumps and off jumps off the kills the walls of King's Landing yep Jamie comes to see this carnage and Jamie's like mm-hmm Right at the I, right at the end of it, as he comes back to King's Landing, as Cersei sits on the Iron Throne, because he has been uh, capturing back a stronghold from the Blackfish at this point. Right for his son. Well, yeah, because he is taken out of the King's Guard in order to do it. Yep. Yep. And so, so what you have now is you have these main the main players all set up in the Game of Thrones. Cersei, Danny, and Jon Snow. Yes. And as all of this is going on, beyond the wall, the White Walkers are building an even more oh, massive, massive army. army. And Bran is the new third Three-Eyed Raven, Raven yep. who is supposed to try to bring balance. Yeah, uh, Bran has found out a lot these past couple seasons right. he for has, our viewers. Yeah, he has powers to go into living creatures and, and at yeah at this point he's the only one that really knows the uh the storyline that's going on in the background the r and l equals j and why this all why this everything and that, that has yep, happened the has children of the this. forest have created the white walkers right. and, and so the white walkers they 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 just they want they want everyone to die yeah well the the, the white king is building an army of the dead and if he can kill everybody then he's got control of everyone right and so each everyone's motive is very similar but different at the same time yeah this their drive like Jon Snow's drive is just that he wants peace in the north mm -hmm. Daenerys thinks she's rightfully owed Westeros, Westeros. basically and Cersei is just a selfish bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like, she really is. Like, I, don't, I don't think she has any fans at this point. No. No. If you are pro Cersei, let us know in the comments why. And and, and, and we'll berate you, but... I, I'll let him go. I, I, I can understand. At this point, she's lost all of her children. Yeah, but on her own doing... Some of them, yeah. But I mean, like, Marcella's not her fault. Yeah. Joffrey's more his own fault. Yeah. And Tommen is pretty much her fault. Yeah. Marcella's kind of her fault because, like... Well, well Tyrion's the one who sent her to Dorne in right. the first place. And uh, she would have died if she had stayed in Dorne as well. Right, no matter what. Because, I mean... Right. Now, let, let's talk about them trailers. Yeah. The, the, the recap. Season 7. Yes. There's um, a lot of battles. It's looking like there might be. I'm hoping so. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping every episode has a big battle. Yeah. Just, uh, you see a lot of the Unsullied attacking. Um, it, it, it's much warmer in the scenes where da of Danny than it, it always has been. But it comparative to, like, Jon Snow. Right. Like, you can definitely tell Winter's here. They yeah. haven't explained if they're on the other side of the wall yet. But it's it's a really snowy, cold environment, right. and it you still seems you had you warm. had a, you had a thought that uh, Daenerys of Daenerys's new throne and where yeah, it actually uh, well, it looks like it's made out of uh, stone, obviously, but um, from the look in the trailers, is it looks like that table that you can that you see Tyrion's hand tip over the the little Lannister marker at is the table that Stannis Baratheon has been at. Mm -hmm. when he's plotting with Melisandre this entire time. So, and he was housed in a t Targaryen stronghold right. called Dragonstone. Right. And so I'm, I'm assuming that's the first place that Danny's going to take up refuge in. Yeah, because no one is at Dragonstone. Yeah, she's not going to find any resistance there. No. Um, and it, it's right there on the side, too. Right. So. Then you have Cersei talking about how she's going to fuck everyone up and how this is her enemies to the east yeah, enemies to the, the west. west they will take out everybody yeah 
Then they got Jon Snow and Wildling, and mix of Wildling and looks like combinations of his former Night's Watch. Clothing. Yeah, it, it looks like with the way that the relationship between Jon and Sansa was built up in season six, it looks like that's not going to work out in season seven because Jon is like solely focused on this White Walker army. Right, and, and Sansa, Sansa seems like wants the wants Littlefinger to be king. Well, it, it's it seems like she wants John to be king at this point. Right. But, but John doesn't care. Yeah, he just wants to gather people to fight this army of the dead. Right. And, and she's all concerned with uh, taking back Winterfell and taking Cersei down so that right. they don't have anyone left to harm more Starks. Yes. Because at this point, the only Starks that they know are alive are Sansa and John. Right. As Arya in this is traveling to find the rest of her siblings. Yep, and she all... has recently killed Walder Frey and yep. two of his sons. Yep. She's... Fed him two of yeah, his sons. Yeah, she, she's on a rampage of death. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Right, she's she's grown into a badass character. Now, alright, I want, I want to bring up this theory because I've had this theory conversation with a lot of my friends. So, you see the Targaryen logo. Right? The three-headed dragon. The three-headed dragon. So, three holders of dragons. We already know two. That could be... Part well, of we three know head. one. We, we know one. We speculate on We speculate others. one. I would... Uh, someone has always told me that Tyrion is the last head of the dragon. He is, he is, he is a bastard son. There's a lot of evidence that points to it because, uh, yeah, there's... There's previous lines from Tywin that kind of sound like Tyrion's not really his kid. Right. And everybody knows that uh, his wife had a relationship with a Targaryen. Yes. And But no one knows if it was a romantic one. Right. So, he could be the third... The hey, third dragon rider, the, the third, third Targaryen. The third Targaryen. I, I think that would be an interesting Because you look thing, at the way, but... like, how Wildfire didn't really face him during that fight well he's the one who employed it right so and he's definitely phased by it because it's a really startling scene to mm -hmm. see a battle so one-sided right. because of something that Powerful. mischievous right but like what what do you think of that idea though like i mean i mean i'm kind of into it i like Tyrion's character a lot right um as mo a lot because of um Dinklage's acting and everything. Right, and he's such a phenomenal actor. Yeah, unless it, he's in Destiny. Yeah, um. he just kind of half hated that, doesn't he? <laughs> no, like, and it's just a lot of what. What are some of the major battles you want to see, though? Uh, I'm definitely interested in this Unsullied battle. Right. Uh, I like every fight scene where the Unsullied are involved. I think they're choreographed so well. And it's so uniquely distinct from, like, the Westerosi knight fighting styles right. that we've seen so far. And how Jon Snow fights and stuff. And I hope to I hope to see a battle between Jaime Lannister and the Greyjoy fleet. That would be kind of interesting, but I, I, don't, I don't know if I see that one kind of happening. Because Jaime's back in King's Landing. Mm -hmm. and, and even though it seems like this, uh these Unsullied battles are kind of in an area that looks like King's Landing, I'm really leaning on that being Casterly Rock. Right. Because that scene, going straight to the enemy's main stronghold... Does not seem like Yeah, it's idea. not a very good battle tactic. Right, but, but I, I hope to see uh, a reunion of the Lannisters in this season. Uh, which ones? Because of, of all three of them. Oh, you want to see... Tyrion meet up with them. Yeah. That, it, I don't think it'll happen, but that would be a pretty interesting thing. As, because, as not family, but for, like, political reasoning. Well, Jamie's like, like, even uh, completely not on the fence anymore. He's, he's ready to kill Tyrion because of Tyrion killing their father. And right. Cersei's been ready to kill Tyrion for a long time. Right. So, I really and, feel like and then Tyrion's I'm hoping, going to right. avoid that at all costs. Then I'm hoping the Stark kids, besides Bran meet each other up. Uh, Bran's the one that I really want to get over there. Uh, it, it seems like he's on his way back, too. Right. 
and Arya's currently on her way to Winterfell. Right. Where Jon and Sansa are, so. I like, hope the end of this end of the the series gets confrontation for everyone for what they. Well, they they've recently announced now that we might have to wait a little bit longer. It sounds like season eight may have a 2019 release date. Which is okay. I'm fine with that as long yeah, as they, they I, I mean, figure their shit out. As, yeah, because they've, they've been rumoring that the last season may only be, like, six episodes. And, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. But if, if putting it off means that maybe they can drag it into a normal ten-episode season, then right. I'd be all right with that. Yeah. Or make the episodes longer. Yeah. I don't know how much longer I'd want the episodes to be. Right. Because I prefer longer seasons over longer, longer episodes. episodes. Right, right, right. Like, I... I a dream confrontation is I want the zombie mountain to fight the hound. Yeah, and the I'm, hound. I'm definitely... I would love for that to happen. I mean, pretty much anywhere for zombie Gregor to go is cool, but I'm really hoping for uh, that uh, the Brotherhood Without Banners teams up with John to fight some White Walkers. Right. Because that's where Clegane is now. Sandor Clegane, not Gregor. He's with uh, Bendak Dondarrion, yeah. who is the other person who has been resurrected multiple times by the Lord of Light, or supposedly by the Lord of Light. No one actually knows. Right. He's the one with the sword, right? Yeah, the flame sword. Yeah. Yeah, who confronted Sandor Clegane in Season 2. Yep. And lost, was killed, and then brought back. With an eye patch. Uh, well, he's had the eye patch for a while. He's a pirate now. <laughs> yeah. Nerd. There actually are pirates. In Game of Thrones. So that, that was our recap and what we hope to see. Um, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped. I'm I'm just hoping for some more fight scenes. Right. If I can get some more stuff like Battle of the Bastards, that's right. gonna be awesome. Yeah, most most definitely. I'm really excited to see some White Walkers. I'm right. really excited to see what Jon Snow is going to do next. Jon Snow, come on, boy. You, you got you to jump it up here. I, I'm, one of my real hopefuls is that we get to know what happened to Nymeria, one of the dire wolves that's still left alive right. at this point. Because all of them except for Ghost and Nymeria have been killed on screen. Right. Or have shown up on screen dead. And so... Nymeria ran away early in season one, so hopefully we'll see her come back. Uh, yeah, Arya uh, meeting up with her brother and sister, that'll right. be exciting. Right. And I'm hoping that Bran uh, is fully understanding of, of his third eye. Power. Well, of his visions that he's already had. Right. So that maybe we can see Jon with the knowledge that he's a Targaryen and right. a Stark. At the same time. I mean, yeah. So, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, this will be posted around noon. I'm Keenie Banyas. And I'm John Dean. Have a good one.